Hi everyone and welcome back. I am Deathwing and you are all watching a Rookie Survivalist. Thank you for tuning in today. I want to go show you a drone that I made for the tunnel that we're busy digging. So there hasn't been a lot of change from the last episode, but I did finishing I did finish up the uni miner and a small little drone as well. So let me go fetch the drone and bring it back up here so we can have a look. Okay, menu, control. Let's take control of the light drone. We have, do we? I don't know. Four, yes, we have. We've got control of the drone. It is parked in the tunnel where we're busy drilling a new hole um, or a new tunnel side shaft from the main entry and exit shaft. Uh, there's the uni miner and the BTLD, I think. Oh no, DLT, digger, loader, and transport yard, DLT. Still need to get used to the name of that thing. Anyway. Let's bring the drone out. Ooh, that might have been a bit quick. I think it fits. <laughs> it fits through the door. Nice. This is this is this is funny. The drone fits through the door. Okay, anyways. We need to wait for the cycle to finish. Is it finished? Hmm, almost. Yeah, good it's done. Now let's get the drone out of here. Take it back up. Sorry, I forgot to put the phone on mute. And if you guys hear any other noise, there's a massive storm in Cape Town today. So it does sound like mic static at certain points or times. Um, let's just bring it in. Down there we are still at the control panel. Now this drone can be controlled from anywhere as long as we have radar connection for about 50 Ks. And switch the lights off on the drone. Just like this, and get out. There we go. Drones in the bay. Let's have a look. And there is the light drone. It has two front facing lights, one left and one right. It's got one basic iron thruster in every direction, one battery, and a connector on the back to charge it. A couple of control blocks on top is a gyro and a remote control block. And it's also got an antenna on, on you somewhere. Where is it? It has to have one somewhere. I know this. I might have broken it off. No, there it is. Right in the back there. Still there. I thought I took it off on the... Sh but then the connection would have been shivered, sh severed as well. So, to take control of the block is really easy. Well, control of the drone can be done with K-Menu, Remote Access and Control or through your light drone and then you find the control block and you control it through there. It's just easier access through this. Take control of the light drone. Control it. Thank you. There you guys can see I've already got full control of the drone. Anyway, uh, one will turn the lights on and off, and with four we can get a view of the drone itself. And if we'll take that away, changes back to camera character view again. Let's bring the drone down a bit to this point. Switch back to character. Uh, I want to see if this will work. Take the character and land on there, like so. Okay, not uh, good. Now, game menu, no, not L, game menu. Take control of the drone, light drone. Take 
pick it up. I wonder if our boots will switch on automatically. Probably if we go out of the gravity well, it should. I think we're way out of it already. I think so, I'm not sure. Let's go down and have a look. No, oh, yeah, now we're connected. it in the X okay we're connected game menu let's take control of this drone again control it bring it down nice and slow nice and slow I'll leave the character behind again see yeah. I think if we maintain less than 10 we can actually go in this way. Surfing a drone. And I also specifically built the drone to dig. Well, to see where we're going in here because I needed extra lights on the project. It gets really dark inside. Okay. Uh, now that the door is done, let's get this going again. Inside. Go, go. Turn on the lights. Bring the drone down, down, down. It needs to be over here somewhere. Yep. Then we can see the project real nice. Okay. Jetpack view, thank you. Now that is the little light drone just small enough to get in everywhere and we can have a look at everything everywhere with that little thing and it creates quite a lot of light well that chip also has some eyes on the project and then this is the uni miner I think everyone knows it by now uh, K menu no let's just change the view on top we've got the three screens indicating everything about the ship stop distance speed acceleration and gravity wells it's all in the middle screen that's all you need for operating the vessel on the left screen is all the mass indicators for storage compartments and everything you need and also the bar on top of ship mass is the max it can take within a natural gravity well like Mars it was designed on Mars so yes it's not at 1g but just below 1g and and also has hydrogen so that's just on atmospheric so don't worry too much it will still do well on any other surface I think and on the right you have all your life support systems battery life power hydrogen and oxygen systems that's everything for the ship and on the bottom you have your control bars it's obviously you've got one and two control bar like I always have and on one we've got all the space controls and on two all the planetary controls three four five and six will be launch controls and flight controls and 
stuff like cruise control I like to do extra settings like that always in everything and let's go have a look at the DTL the DLT yeah DLT sorry dig a loader transport I need to get used to this I've also updated the scripts in here it is also running automatic LCD stew same as the digger it has a maximum ship mass that's not accurate yet we need to set that up also stop time stop distance speed and acceleration and again please note that stop time and stop distance only works when your ship is actually moving with dampness on with dampness off it can't calculate what the stopping distance is because there's no negative thrust happening no deacceleration so the program can't actually do any of the calculations without that there always keep that in mind when flying the ship and that is everything well not everything but that's everything I've been busy with for this week so it doesn't look like a lot of progress but two extra ships and we're digging a side tunnel I want this tunnel to go in quite a bit inside I will start with all the docking for the ships and the power and some of the production will also be moved inside I will keep the station on top there um, until everything inside is done and even then maybe just leave it there but soon we can get started on the station on the inside of this little tunnel I'm digging also it needs to be big enough for the miners and all the other ship to, ships to go in and out of here um, I might do a bigger tunnel later on but this is gonna be the first main tunnel I think uh, this was the last thing I wanted to show off I build a radar dish that actually rotates I think it's pretty nifty and I like it that brings us to the end of another episode I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in it's great having you and I've got a new twitch channel should be over there somewhere uh, hopefully if it's not on that side I'll put it over on this side uh, but for all of you that haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I do my next video and that will be of the tunnel that is completed and during the week you guys can tune in on Twitch to see exactly how I go about completing these tunnels that's the reason for the Twitch stream and this is me Deathwing cheers ciao and tot scenes time for the happy dance